NASA Rover Challenge 2017. This project consists of the design, fabrication, assembly, and testing of human-powered rovers. NASA sponsors this competition to advance the research and development of new technology that may benefit future space missions. They also desire to promote interest in NASA from aspiring engineers like those found at NDSU. Instead of recreating a rover from scratch, we decided to focus on optimizing last year's design. The previous wheels were heavy and lacked traction over some obstacles. Using Creo and Ansys, we designed a lighter wheel with more flex on the outer surface to improve traction. Next, we added a joint system to the pedal supports which allowed the rover to be assembled quickly. When testing the previous rover, we noticed that the steering would lock into the turn. To avert this, we designed a new spindle with positive caster angle and adjusted the A-arms of the suspension. This made the steering self-straighten. A robust braking system was integrated into existing components. The machining process required the use of the engine lathe, mill, welder, and various other power tools. The wheel was 3D printed to form a silicon mold. A polyurethane resin was mixed and poured into the mold. The rim was cast separately from the tire so that a stiffer resin could be used for the inner wheel. The resin for the tire had a greater deflection. Here you can see the suspension modification at work by observing the steering naturally correct. The new brakes functioned well. The pedal supports were the pride and joy of this design. A chain guard was used to take up the slack when in the folded position. The competition began with the carrying of the rover by the two drivers. The course was over one half mile long and simulated extraterrestrial terrain that included craters, boulders, ridges, a 25 grade incline, crevices, and depressions. You may have noticed that the wheels look different in some of these clips. There is a very intense 24-hour period between the first and second run where some modifications needed to be made to improve our performance in the race. Our team placed 17th out of 57 teams, which is in the top 30%. Our team improved the assembly time by 27 seconds from last year's team. In case you missed it, here is the assembly time in slow motion. This trip was a great experience where we all got to grow as engineers. We would like to thank the North Dakota Space Grant Consortium for funding this project.